actually straight up. One time I was in trouble and they came down and they saved my life, like for real. I wouldn't be here without that kid. Straight up. Thanks, brother. You're welcome, <laughs> Well, the dope team started nine years ago, and their focus is to alleviate stress on emergency services. So we saw kind of at that time public intoxication as more of a social issue rather than a criminal issue. And so the idea was that instead of police having to deal with public intoxication, that they would call a social agency like ours or a team like ours, and then we would work with those clients on more of a social level, a social level, and that they... Um, then it would free up the time of police to deal with more criminal issues. It ties up police resources, you know, having to uh, respond to these complaints. The dope team, you know, they, they have a couple of vans available to have transport them to whatever shelter is available to have room. So it really frees up the police service to yeah, respond to more critical complaints that the, the community has. So it's a valuable service that uh, we consider to be uh, an asset for, for all of downtown Calgary and surrounding areas throughout, throughout the city. So generally what we like to do is first and foremost uh, 100% of our job is based on the rapport that we have with our clients. So getting that rapport with new clients or keeping the rapport with some long-term clients is really, really important to us. So um, if someone's having a rough day but they don't want to talk about it, we can offer them their favorite song on the radio. We can sometimes offer them just to sit in the back and cruise around with us. And that's pretty unique to the dope team. Um, open communication is key. We have to be very vocal um, and discuss a lot of, like a lot of things we do are like very challenging ethical dilemmas. Um, and a lot of our triaging is really critical as well, especially it's time sensitive in, in the winter when it's minus 30. Like if someone's outside for longer than need be, frostbite is a factor and people can lose their fingers. So it's very, it can be very stressful. I love this job for the excitement, uh, it's different every day and you really have a unique opportunity to touch somebody's lives and to really see like just the raw what happens in the daily life of somebody on the street um, and to be that support and that person that they trust to come to when they don't feel like there's anybody else to go to when they're really at the lowest of the low, Dope Team can be there for them and that is a very, um, that's an opportunity that I really, really, like, cherish. I definitely love being out on the street uh, with people and being able to be really where they're at. Um, just feel a lot more involved and kind of sort of reiterate, like, very much in touch with what, what it's really like and what the experiences people really go through are. Um, and to be the first person to talk to somebody at both highs and lows is, a uh, really really interesting and it's different every single day. I think you bond more with people not even talking about their issues. Yeah. Just having fun and they remember that next time and then when they want to talk they'll talk. We're grateful they're here because some nights without them we don't make it anywhere. There are so many homeless. Some days two blocks is 20 miles. And it's a long haul when you got a lot of fear and baggage, you know. The dope team brought me here, saved my life. I was so blood poisoned that um, I would have died within hours. So I don't know what to say. Otherwise, these people are angels, and they saved my life. God bless them. God bless them. God bless the dope team.